Burkina Faso is one of the world's poorest countries, with more than 80% of people barely scraping by in subsistence farming. Nearly half the people survive on less than a dollar a day. The shock of soaring food prices hit Burkina particularly hard. In normal years, villagers produce enough to take care of themselves. The rains didn't come last year, until the end of the season, which finished off in floods. Most of what villagers would have produced was destroyed. Burkina Faso, land of the upright men, was brought low by a disaster that was both natural and man-made. But FAO is supporting the government. 400 tons of seed and fertilizer were distributed to 1,200 families in Tugo and surrounding villages in the arid central north region. This seed producer says he's received sorghum and cowpea seeds and fertilizer. But now he'll look to the sky and implore the heaven for rain. But this season is okay because now he has seeds. The city is another story. People buy their food, they don't produce their own. And much of what they buy doesn't even come from Burkina Faso's own countryside. Rice, for example, has become a major staple food in the city. But Burkina only produces one third of what it consumes. The rest comes from imports from as far away as Thailand. This market seller says a portion of rice used to cost 300 CFA francs. Now it's 400 CFA francs. That's too much. Too much because it's an increase of 75% in about six months. But the curse of high prices might be just the thing to get Burkina Faso back on its feet. FAO emergency coordinator Jean-Pierre Ranson says that now producers find themselves with a price that is enticing. Before, farmers weren't interested in growing rice. It was better to produce for one's own consumption or grow profitable crops such as vegetables, onions and so on. With water control, people can slowly switch from risky rain-fed crops to irrigated rice. Still, there are further steps to be taken. Mechanization would be one such step. That sort of technology and putting in place the irrigation systems, transport infrastructure, the know-how and rural credit programs to boost and secure the national food supply, this all takes time and most importantly, it takes money. Rice, though currently seen as the root of the problem, could well be part of the solution.